two words come to mind for this new episode of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And those two words are... Nightmare Fuel. This episode freaked me right the fuck out. I'm not even playing. The burrito episode was funny and freaky in the weird way, you know, fun way. This was freaky in the, in the creepy way. And I'm really surprised they got away with this on Nickelodeon. Oh my god. Like, it got so fucking creepy, I was like, I want to turn this off now. I'm not feeling comfortable. But in a good way. That's actually... I know I'm knocking... I sounds like I'm knocking the episode. At the same time, I'm, I'm freaked out. I'm so happy that this has gotten on TV. Especially on Nickelodeon. You never see that kind of stuff from animation these days. If you're freaked out in the wrong way, you're doing something fucking good. So I'm going to be talking about Season 3, Episode 3 of TMNT, Buried Secrets. Now, in the original, like, Wikipedia thing, it was supposed to say that we're going to see some stuff from Karai as well, but we don't get that. We just get what happens in here. So, during, while cleaning, the Turtles, Casey, and April come upon an old Crane Scout ship. And in there is April's mother. Wow! April's mother. And she pretty much gives them the story that, you know, April, you know April's great-grandfather who built the house accidentally re awoke, in the, awoke the Krang, and from generation to generation, the Krang had been experimenting on her family, you know, using their DNA to perfect the mutagen. So Kirby and uh, April's mom, uh, you know, April's parents tried to run away, but April's mom was captured and frozen, you know, to be, uh, to be supposedly used for more uh, mutations. And in here, right off the bat, the one person who doesn't really trust her is Michelangelo, uh, which is interesting. You'd think someone like Leo or Raph. You know, I actually thought if anyone was going to not trust this person, it was going to be Raph. But no, it's Mikey. Yeah, it's Mikey who's the only one who doesn't seem to trust her. And he starts doing some investigating stuff and tries to tell the Turtles, hey, look, um, Look, this is really weird, guys. Uh, she's she's not, you know, I don't trust her. We got to keep a close eye on her. And they're like, dude, you got, uh, dude, we don't believe you. Just let, you know, let them have their peace and all that. And it's kind of weird that they're distrusting Mikey all over again because how many times has Mikey been right? You guys for did you guys just forget this whole Squirrelanoids thing? Yeah, did you guys just totally forget the whole Squirrelanoids thing? Also, another thing, when they're going down into the cellar, it's a fruit cellar, and it rings so much true, rings so true of Evil Dead. Not to mention of another horror movie, uh, a very, you know, classic horror movie, which I will get into in a minute. You already know where this, where this is going, guys. Um, so yeah, Mikey finds her, finds quote-unquote April's mom pouring mutagen in, trying to dump mutagen in the river. Mikey stops her. However, she manages to capture Mikey, so we don't find out how she does it, but yeah, she does. And from there, uh, she proceeds to capture Donnie and Leo as well. And we discover right off the bat, this thing is like a parody of John Carpenter's The Thing. This And it was creepy, too. Like, it had all the high-pitched scream from the original movie, The Thing. It had the tentacles and all that, and it could shapeshift pe into, th into people. Ugh! Ugh. And it did all like the ten the weird tentacle morphing, and it ugh. I mean, good on you for doing another reference. There's also another nice little like physical reference that Leo does it, to Evil Dead with the whole fruits him trying to run away and one of the things break, and one of the steps break, and he hits his head on the other step. And I'm like, huh, that's a clever reference to Evil Dead too. Good on you. And, yeah, only leaving Raphael to discover what happened uh, to the other ones, and he, Casey, and April try to outrun this creature, and this thing keeps mutating and mutating until the point where I am completely like, oh, God, mm. I am so happy I didn't eat today. Mm. I am so glad I haven't eaten in a while, because this thing was disgusting, in a good way. It was disgusting in a good way, and what happens is pretty much is that this thing tries to, you know, capture April, and it does in the weirdest way possible that, you know, Casey, April, and uh, Raph manage to trap it in the barn. They try fighting it. Casey even tries electrocuting it, trying to use, like, heat. It, like, similar to how in John Carpenter's The Thing, the creature's weakness was fire. And he tries electrocuting it. However, unlike The Thing, 
it doesn't kill it and proceeds to ab literally absorb Raph and Casey, leaving April alone. And then there's the freakiest thing where it's like, Here, April, we can be a family again. It's creating the April, you know, faces of Leo, Donnie, and Mikey, and they're wailing, and it makes a head like April's mom, and it's looking at April. Oh, it was, that's the part where I was really like, man, I am really shocked this got uh, this got through. Thumbs up, people. <laughs> Thumbs up, guys. You've gone... Because last episode... The, these past few episodes, let's face it. These past few episodes have been either really creepy or really disturbing. I mean, first episode of season three, that uh, did a lot of Jason Voorhees stuff and had some really kind of shock moments. Episode two with the Bigfoots thing. Um, yeah, that was really disturbing. The Bigfoot stuff, anyway. This episode, straight up... If I Like, I feel bad for anyone under ten. I feel bad for anyone under ten... For watching this episode, but everyone over 10, yeah, I'm really enjoying this. I'm really liking where this is going. Because again, if you manage to freak me out in just a, a story that doesn't have any blood or swearing, yeah, there's no blood or swearing or anything, and you still manage to freak me out a bit, you're doing something good, at TM guys at TMNT. You really are. Anyway, so the thing is about to absorb April, but then April has what I, I'm going to start calling a Jean Grey moment. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to start calling it that. Yeah, so she has a Jean Grey moment and manages to disrupt the creature and make it explode. Thus freeing Casey and the, uh, and the turtles. And we discover that the creature was created to, was created to be like a, a Krang infiltrator, but a prototype, the Krang couldn't control it, and they put it on ice. We also discover that it had the memories of April's mom, and that's how it managed to remember everything she had. All in all, really good episode. Really freaky. These past few episodes, these past few episodes have either really managed to freak you out, disturb you, or just flat, flat out make you shit yourself. But anyway, at the end of the episode, April still believes that you know her mother's somewhere out there, and she want she one day wants to go find her. But at the same time, they go back to what you know, Mikey saying, "Hey, there's a thing of mutagen she pulled, she spilled in the river, but I managed to stop her. But the mutagen kind of spilled everywhere." And Leo's like, oh, you know what that means. And then we get this scene. We cut away to far away in the, fo in the forest. And we see four frogs covered in mutagen. Battletoads, anyone? Yes! So yeah, we're probably getting, if not the Battletoads, we're probably getting, um... We're probably what we're probably getting is like a parody of the battle of the battle toads. So that is really awesome. All in all, I absolutely love this episode. Even though, you know, even though I said, yeah, it freaked me out, it made me almost want to lose my lunch, it was still a really good episode. It was just a damn fine episode. Absolutely loved it. I feel again, I feel bad for anyone under ten watching this. Sorry, kid. <laughs> you know, for watching that episode. Sorry, kid. Anyway, once again, hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, I'll see you guys later.